gentlemen this coming soon a major offensive will be launched by the enemy our intelligence reports say that this could make or break the war lieutenant callaghan here will brief you on this operation carry on man at 2400 hours on the 23rd of february there will be a secret meeting of our top military leaders from all regions to be held in dong hoi north vietnam all the heavy top brass of the enemy will be there and so will we i know by now that you are all familiar with the objective the terrain the location and most of all your human targets and I strongly emphasize once again that we will terminate our targets with extreme precision. There must be no survivors. This operation will be codenamed Red Tide. Our theory of assault has not yet been tried. It is a system that may or may not work. If it does, then some of you will be lucky enough to come back alive. I hope this is understood. Ten hut. Good luck, Marines. Dismiss. Perfect timing, boys. Dismissed. So Douglas, what's a rich boy like you doing in the Marines? My father. I've always had to prove something to my father. Well, that's what they all say. If you want your boy to turn into a man, just send him to the Marines. Hey, you two <laughs> Marines are looking like a couple of women lately. Come on, let's shape it up. I'm quitting. This is my last mission. I'm really not cut out to be a soldier. I'm gonna go back to my studies. There must be something more in life. How about you, David? What are you going to do when your hitch is up? I'll tell you what he's going to do. He's going to be a lifer, man. He's cut out for this shit. He's gone a long way since those fighting days in the old neighborhood. Remember Ratso, David? Boy, he almost whipped your ass.
and your boys to get out of here right now before I really get mad. David, are you all right? It's okay, babe. It's over. They're gone. Hey, dude. Hey, thanks, Charlie. Anytime, babe. Oh. Anyway, the old man used to save my old daddy lots of time during the war. But there's no war, man. ain't the old neighborhood no more. This is a real war. so early. What is bothering you, my child? Father, I'm afraid. I hear guns firing, people screaming. <coughs> oh, but we are very far away from the city. There is no firing here, no bombs, only peace, my I heard them in my sleep. Ah, but that is a different matter. You've been dreaming, my child. In dreams, things are not what they seem. But I'm still frightened, Father. I understand. Would you like to stay with me then? When will I see my mother? Your mother is in a very far place. Just be patient. Now, go back to sleep.
Very soon now, they'll all be in that conference room on the second floor. We'll give them a few minutes lead time, and then we'll go in. Okay, guys, synchronize watches. I don't like it, Lieutenant. There's something wrong. Yeah, I can feel it, too. How come there are only a few soldiers around? This place ought to be jumping by now. They could be waiting for us. Let's abort this mission, Lieutenant. Shut your face, Marine. Cool it, Charlie. What if it's all part of the plan, so as not to arouse suspicion? And we fell for it like fools? There's only one way to find out. We're going in. the meeting. Hopson Q. Hopson Q. Bad news. They say the conference is moved to tomorrow. Damn it. Now we're really screwed up. What are we going to do now, Lieutenant? We'll have to take them with us. We're coming back tomorrow. But Lieutenant, that's crazy. Shut up, Mom. I'm sick and tired of you. Now do as I say. Time up. Shots! Whoa, whoa. 
people like that, we got a job to do. Secure the area! You will not leave this room. I will come back. Father, I'm afraid. Nothing will happen. I'm here to protect you. Your mother is a brave woman. She does not cry. Your mother will be proud of you. Remember, just stay here. Let's go. Shoot you, motherfuckers! Go on! Shoot! 
Where? My life! Stay close! Tell his men to get the hell out of here! My life! Stay! Listen, I'm going to stick your daughter! And to ask you to leave! Come on, move back! Come on, let's move back! Come on! Come on! Lại đại, lại đại
expecting any visitors? Oh, not that I know of. Okay, you wake up Paul and get the groceries. Don't worry. Hey Paul, wake up Paul. Charlie? Who else? Oh, God, son of a bitch. How are you doing? God, God, you look great. Man, where have you been? We all thought you were dead. Oh, man, badasses like me don't die. We live forever, you know that. <laughs> man, what happened? I got caught, but that's history. It must have been hard. Damn, you're looking good. So do you. Look at you. Look at that, huh? <laughs> it's been a long time. been doing time. bumping weights all this time. What do you think? Same old guy. Hey, who's this the serving of my friend? Kate. I'd like you to meet Charlie. Hi. Charlie? You mean... But how? I mean, I thought... So you've been telling her stories about me. <laughs> I'm sorry. David said you're dead. Oh, what am I saying? It's just so... He's so proud of you, Charlie. Well, I'll leave you two alone. I know you have a lot of things to talk about. Well, why don't you two guys get to know each other a little better, huh? Okay. I'll fix you some drinks. Make my scotch. Hi, Tiger. Hi. Sit down. So, what is your name? My name is Pa. Pa? Okay, do you want to be just like your old man soldier? Yep. Only if he promises to eat his vegetables. Ah, uh, vegetables are for sissies. Yeah. Yes. How about having lunch with us, Charlie? Oh, thanks, but no thanks. I have to rush back to the city. I have a better idea. Why don't you just guys uh, join me at a beach house? We'll go for a swim. I'm sure the kid's gonna like it. Hey, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Sure, Charlie, that'd be great. Okay, Paul, why don't you go on upstairs and change your clothes, huh? Yes, Daddy. Good luck. Oh, wow, I'll give you my car. You'll find me here easily. We'll talk some more. Sure. We gotta rush back. Okay. Okay, Charlie's leaving. Okay, take care, Charlie. Hey, man. Let's get this in here. Miss you. Tell me your rich uncle left you all of this. Hey, dude! Not only that, he made me president of the food export company. That's the reason why I'm in Thailand, to set up a branch. Hey, man, I'm really happy for you. But how did you know I was here working in Thailand? Well, when I found out that Douglas was working here as a vice consul, I lost no time in getting in touch with him. And the rest is history. So our friend Douglas screwed on me, huh? That thing. Catch. That's good. Hey, how you two doing down there? It's almost fixed. Okay, I'll go get the food. Hey, wait. I'm coming. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Come on, Paul.
Operator, Dr. Sanderson, American Embassy. Just lie back. You need rest. Damn it! Uh, just tell me, where are they? They're nowhere to be found, David. The Thai authorities have looked everywhere. Well, they're not searching hard enough. Cool it. Losing your temper's not gonna get you anywhere. What about Charlie? He's safe. He's in the hospital, recuperating. He was badly beaten. They left him for dead. Apparently, your diplomatic cover has been blown. They now know you're involved in covert operations. Who else would want to harm you? Only the communists. I want to talk to Charlie. I want to know what actually happened. It was all of a sudden, man. They hit me from behind and I blacked out. God knows I tried, David. I understand, Charlie. I don't understand why Kate and the kid... It's because of me, Charlie. You see, Charlie, David is conducting special training for the Thai Special Forces. The equivalent of our U.S. Marine LERPs, counteracting insurgency here. His embassy work is just a cover to avoid any complications. Most especially the communists, who would love to exploit this thing to the fullest for propaganda purposes. The Thai government is very proud of their self-help policy. For that reason, this whole thing must be kept under wraps. Well, I guess it's no secret anymore, huh? The boy also suffered a similar fate. A bullet hole between the eyes. Jesus Christ. Don't 
The persons responsible for this are certainly not amateurs. We are still studying the motive. We will call you as soon as we find a lead. Thank you very much, Mr. Callahan. Come on, David, let's go. David, come on. Whatever's on your mind, I'm with you, David. Thanks, Charlie. Sam is expecting me. Come in. Gentlemen, I apologize for this rough treatment. But I have an abnormal dislike for guns. Sit down. Now what brings you here? You want to buy information, Sam. We're willing to pay the price. If the price is right. You know I can give you anything, gentlemen. Two days ago, an American woman and a boy were murdered. Now we want to know who's responsible. But that's an expensive piece of information. Is this enough? Double it, and we're in business. Information first. The man responsible is El Chameleon, the most feared communist rebel leader in the country. Why? To persuade the Americans not to meddle in the affairs of other countries. It's no secret that the Thai government requested David here to help fight the communists. Don't be surprised. I wouldn't be Sam if I didn't know these things. We want our guns back. You can get it outside from the same man who let you in. Come on, let's go.
Nice doing business with you gentlemen. We're not informed of this training schedule. We're following orders from higher headquarters. El Camellion and his band of terrorists used to sow terror in the city. But we got use of his ways and put a stop to his operation. Now, he is hiding in the mountain near the Golden Triangle. And we suspect it is where the financiers are coming from. Illegal drug stealing. A regular asshole. Have you tried to flush them out? We did several times. But somehow, he managed to slip away. That's why he got the name, Chameleon. Sir, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we have orders for Captain Callahan. Come in. Thank you. That's strange. I did not get a notice of this training schedule. Well, maybe it was a mix-up. It happens sometimes. Well, I might as well do it since the boys are here. Do you mind if I go with you, Captain? I like to brush up a petting technique. Hey, sure. Why not? Hey, that means Charlie and I can go out for a drink. What do you say, Charlie? Why am I always your alibi, you guzzler? <laughs> Look at this man. Come on, let's go. It's a miracle you're getting out of that hell hole. You're a lucky fellow. Yes, Lady Luck was sure on my side. I'm wondering why it never seemed to bother you. I mean, being a POW is not easy. It's the will to survive. Being a Marine. Gung-ho. You know what I mean, man. Or did you have to see a shrink? Let's say it's an option I had to take. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your stuff, okay? Ten hood! Young eh? At ease. Sit down. To begin with, I'd like to apologize for my rather informal attire. But as you know, this training session was rather unscheduled due to the upcoming Black Panther Karate Tournament. Today, we will talk about the art of kicking. Right now, you may all be thinking that a kick is just a kick, but it can be so much more. A good kick can be the difference between defeat and victory. 
We'll start with a side kick. To start the kick, you must have a tight fold, like a coiled spring. Utilize your hips for maximum power. Lock your leg out on completion of the kick and refold with control. Step down in balance. Is your style better than Thai boxing? I'm not here to compete with you, soldier. I'm here to teach you techniques that'll save me in a life and death situation and may one day help you. You're talking bullshit. How about this? What's the meaning of this? Shut up! Don't make any false moves! Check it out. I think your camp has been infiltrated, Vinay. Yes, El Chameleon has become bolder. Right. I think it's time we pay him a visit.
Hurry, men. Move it. Come on. Come on. Faster. Move it. How's this little? They're all holding out inside, sir. Pass them. Dead. What are you doing, man? That wasn't necessary. He was going for his gun. Besides, he murdered his wife and child. Shall I declare the whole case closed, David? Come on, man. Can I make you stay and make it worthwhile? No, thanks, Charlie. The longer I stay, the more it hurts. Space. Then I come in. What brings you here? I'm here to escort you to the airport. It's a lot of trouble for you. For a friend, it is not trouble, but a pleasure. Besides. You are still under my responsibility until you leave the country. Get his back. Follow me. Hey, what's happening? Be nice here. He will escort us to the airport. Coming with me, David. I'm sorry. He is still under my protection. He has to go with me. It's just a fucking ride. Hey, calm it, Charlie. He's just doing his job. Sorry.
Then I, I'm going to miss your country. My men and I are grateful for time and effort you have shared with us. The Black Panther will not be as formidable as it is without your patience and understanding. Thank you, Vinay. I want you to know that I've really enjoyed my stay here. Your men have been very generous in their cooperation. I'm glad you appreciate this. I hope you don't mind my curiosity, but it seems that your principal Charles goes beyond our days. Yes, we've been friends since high school. Then you must be very fond of him. Oh yes, he's taught me a lot of things about life, especially the harsh realities of it. I see. But what happened to him when you got separated in the last mission? He got captured and was just recently released. They are 30 minutes late. What could be holding them? It's trouble. I can feel it. Are you Mr. Douglas Anderson? Yes. I have a letter here for you, sir. This note says that I have to be alone. I'm sorry, Douglas. That's a risk that I can't take. I have to do everything that they tell me. Otherwise, we may never see Charlie alive again. We may not see you again alive if you don't let Captain Ben I help you. Well, that's a chance I'm willing to risk for Charlie. Douglas, they let you see the letter. That means they're after you too. So please, don't be foolish enough to follow me. These people are communists. They could not be trusted. Yes, Vinay, we know. But unfortunately, they left us with no option. I understand. Dear Kalan 
just drove you, sir. Over. All right. Alert the men. We're moving in. Over. Thank you for allowing me to read the note first before they leave. It's like you said. These people cannot be trusted. Let's go. Open it, or I'll blow your stupid face off. Came alone. Cut the crap. Where's Charlie? Don't worry. Your friend is safe. Take me to him now. You never learn, do you? Take him to the chopper. Okay, buddy. Where's David? <laughs> You're too late. Take charts. Go. I'm going to die. No. Not until you tell us who is responsible for all this. For God's sakes, I'm bleeding to death. Or you can live. The choice is yours. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Come on, come on, we're waiting. It's... It's 
Strand Van Poole. Who the hell is Trent? Trent Van Poole. Wait a minute. I know him. If I'm not mistaken, he's the same man we encountered at Dong Hoi during our last mission. Please! I already told you who he is! Why is he doing all this? I don't know! We were just paid to kill David's family. Attack the military gym to capture David. Ugh. Ambush you to get Charlie. So you, we could use him as bait to get David. Shit, I need an ambulance! Damn it, get me an ambulance! What about Chameleon? What's his part in this? Nothing! He was just a fall guy. You can blame anything on the communists, you know that. Guard! Sir. Take him to the hospital. Yes, sir. Why didn't I realize this before? The Minister of Defense of North Vietnam is none other than Tran Van Poo. This becomes a problem for us. We cannot go beyond our borders without creating an international incident. You bastard! You Welcome back to Dong Hoi, Mr. Callahan, Mr. Murphy. Four years ago, if you will remember, you were here, but on a different circumstance and with a different purpose. You came here to commit a crime so despicable to mention, the murder of an innocent child whose only mistake was to care for her father, to be with him, for her father was a soldier. Mr. David Callahan, the people of North Vietnam, by virtue of an eyewitness account, accuses you of the murder of my and four, my only child. How do you plead, Mr. Callahan? Guilty or not guilty? I don't know what you're talking about. Liar! Do not pretend you do not know anything. Someone saw you. Surprised, Mr. Callahan? You did not expect that your brutal crime would be known. Perhaps Mr. Murphy could refresh your memory. Mr. Murphy, 
Would you please tell Mr. Callahan what you saw that fateful day? Tell him! For the last time, who killed my daughter, Sergeant? Just leave me to David Khan. I, I saw it. Mr. Murphy, I cannot hear you. I saw everything. It was him. It was him! He shot the girl! That's a lie! I never saw the girl after the jeep was blown up! No, don't listen to him! I saw him shot the girl! Get a hold of yourself, man! You know we never saw each other You're after lying. the jeep was blown You're up! You're lying! I saw everything and it was him! Because I sincerely believe that your friend is telling the truth. Why would he help me locate you and Douglas and plan everything, including the exacting of justice to your wife and kid? And for that, he was fully rewarded. But money is immaterial because everything has a price, including justice. You will both fight each other to the death, and he who survives holds the throne. Why, Charlie?
band food. I refuse to play your game any longer. Kill me if you want. Do you hear me, Van Fu? Enough of this bullshit. Get it over with. But never will I stain my hand with the blood of my friend. Go ahead. Kill me. For this moment, David Callahan. Thank <laughs> you. 